talking about some of the basics of nutrient timing. As you can see up on the board, we have a little classification system on the bottom and a few basic facts up on top. The body handles uh, certain nutrients best at very specific times of the day. And one of the most commonly altered macronutrients for nutrient timing is going to be carbohydrates. One of the most basic and fundamental rules of nutrient timing is to eat the refined sugary and starchy carbs during and within three hours post-exercise. Now there's a few reasons behind this, but first I need to mention that that three hour number is something that's very, very general. Um, the specific number is going to be uh, dependent upon genetics, fitness level, current diet, and a number of other things. So uh, keep in mind, it's kind of hard to quantify the exact amount of time post-exercise that's best to eat those carbs. But at the same time, uh, that's a good general number to start out with. Now keep in mind that uh, kind of imploring some of these principles into your own diet is going to be very beneficial in helping to control insulin. And insulin is a very important hormone. Insulin. insulin is a very important hormone. It helps regulate some of the nutrient entry into cells. And it's also important to note that eating those carbohydrate-rich meals, the ones that are a little bit uh, more, a little higher on the glycemic index, uh, post-exercise within the window that I'm talking about, helps refuel uh, glycogen stores and also helps improve recovery. Now, some of the classification system down here. Uh, it's going to be real basic, but at the same time, it's a good way to think about it when you're first getting into nutrient timing. The first one is going to be fiber-rich carbohydrates. So these are things like beans, legumes, uh, veggies, things that are very nutrient-dense, that are slow digesting and full of fiber. The second category up here is going to be starchy carbs. So there's things like quinoa, bread, potatoes, um, pasta, things like that. But keep in mind the only reservation I have to this list is that if you're a more of an advanced athlete, have very specific body uh, composition goals, maybe you're a bodybuilder, the category of starchy carb varies very much in glycemic index. When you look at something like a white bread and a sweet potato or steel cut oats, it's going to be on kind of opposite ends of the spectrum, but when you first get into it, it's a good way of thinking about it. Now, these ones are best consumed within that three-hour window post-exercise, but you can also get away with eating them throughout the day as well, but it's best to have the most carbohydrate-rich meals that are in uh, the category of starchy within three hours post-exercise. The last category on the bar board is going to be refined sugary carbs. Now, these are things, if you fall around the average teenager for a few days, you kind of have a complete list of them. These are things like candy, Pop-Tarts, things of that nature that should be eaten rarely, and when they are eaten, it likely should take place during or within that window. This is also why you'll see people eat uh, Sour Patch Kids or load up on different kinds of candy uh, during their exercise because these are very simple carbohydrates getting in the body really quickly. Um, this, is also, this is also why that Chris Duffin oftentimes eats a popsicle during his workout. As odd as it may look, there is a specific reason for that. Though it is important to note that if you're doing a 45 minute workout, eating a bunch of candy a half an hour in, 15 minutes left, not going to do a whole lot. I think a lot of people use this as an excuse to load up on candy, but there is a specific reason for it. Now this classification system uh, is a really good way to look at it because you should be eating most of your fiber rich carbs just throughout the day. There's really no specific timeline on those. These starchy carbs, again, should be eaten about three hours post within that window I talked about. And the refined sugary ones, if ever, should be taken during or within that window again. This will help greatly, uh, this, will help, this will have insulin into your control. It will help regulate the nutrients entry into cells and it will greatly benefit body composition goals. We'll get more specific into this in, on another day, another video, but this is gonna be a great start into the basics of nutrient timing. It's Coach Brandon and I'm signing up.